Hi everyone! Welcome to Avida with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today we'll go over the flow between Apple Business Manager and Microsoft Intune as of April 2023. There's no configuration in this video, so it's not super technical. Just let me know in the comments section if you want more technical content and I can make a separate video on them. Also, since I'm not sure what to call this video, please feel free to put down below your suggestion on what I should name this kind of content. Feel free to skip to the sections you want to watch with the timestamp below in the description box. Okay, enough with the babbling. Let's get started. So I was doing training for our help desk team and thought this would be helpful to share with you the flow of iOS supervised devices between Apple Business Manager and Microsoft Intune. This video is to help the beginners out there get a basic understanding or at least visualize the flow because I understand most help desks are not explain the full process and instead they're just being told what to do and or they don't have the preview to see all the steps because they don't have access. Regardless of the reason, this video is for beginners. If you're an intermediate or advanced Intune users, this video may not be for you. But feel free to stick around and give helpful tips to the beginner out there. We'll be using iPad as an example instead of iPhone because the company that I work for doesn't assign company cell phones. But from a high level, it works the same way if it's a supervised iOS device. And supervised mean corporate owned, not personally owned. Because Microsoft Intune offers granular settings and policy for devices classify as corporate owned. Okay, let's start from a 10,000 foot view. The process is specifically for iOS supervised devices, as we mentioned. First, the vendor imports devices into ABM, and ABM stands for Apple Business Manager. If you haven't set up this connection, please speak to your vendor and they can send you an instruction on how to set this up. This step is how Apple knows who's the owner of this device. Step two, assign MDM server to your iOS devices on ABM for old devices, or you can set up automation for new devices to automatically be assigned an MDM server. MDM is mobile device management. Although you can set up multiple MDM server, it's not advised because it's complicated. We'll stick with one MDM server if you can, in security, just like in life, you don't want things to be complicated if it doesn't have to be. This step tells the device who is managing it. And in our case, it's going to be Microsoft Intune. On to step three, which is assigning the enrollment profile if you have more than one on Intune. This step tells the device how its initial setup is going to be, such as if you're going to include enabling Siri or signing in to Apple ID, or you can skip them all together. And finally, the devices are assigned to configuration profiles for granular configs, such as which Wi-Fi to connect to, the look and feel of the iPad, which apps it should have, and tons of others. Let me walk you through what this process looks like in a bit more detail. We start here on our Apple Business Manager where the iPads have been ordered with the vendor. The vendor then imports the serial number and details of the iPads, which we can search by the serial number. Under Devices, and you will see. So the Intune server has to be set up for the connection between ABM and Intune to be established where they can talk to each other allowing Intune to know which iPads need to enroll into Intune. Currently, I have it set up to automatically assign newly purchased iPads to Intune, one of the MDM servers. We still have some old iPads that were on Mass360 as we are still migrating over to Intune for some stragglers. So I'm going to manually change the MDM server to Intune for one of them so you can see the difference. Wait for a bit and you will see that now the MDM server is showing Intune on ABM. Now let's move over to Intune and we'll find the device that we just assigned to it. There's multiple ways to do this. I normally just go straight to iOS, iPad, enrollment, enrollment program token, under Intune, devices. The path of the page I'm on is here in case I'm clicking too quickly. So 
As you can see, we searched for the serial number of the iPad we just assigned to Intune, and it's not here yet. It takes some time for ABM to sync to Intune, but we can definitely kick off the sync manually as it's much faster than waiting, which is what I normally do anyway. It's worth noting here that you can only do the sync every 15 minutes. If you do a search for the serial number now, it should be there. Let's do a refresh. Since the device is now on Intune, we are ready to assign it an enrollment profile. The process that enables device management for a device is called device enrollment, which is what we're doing here on this step. During enrollment, Intune installs an MDM certificate on the enrolling device. The MDM certificate communicates with the Intune service and enables Intune to start enforcing the organization's policies. A device enrollment profile defines the settings applied to a group of devices during enrollment. If you only have one enrollment profile, then you can automate this. But because in my environment, we have multiple. So if we need the device to be in a different enrollment that's different than the default, then we have to assign them. I'm going to backtrack a step here and show you the different profiles that we have. The enrollment profile under properties, as we can see that it tells the device during setup what to show and what to hide. Then finally, our help desk team runs through the iPad setup with the instructions I wrote for them as everything else is automated after they go through the initial setup screens on the iPad and rename it on Intune. They rename the iPad based on what type of iPad it is and that iPad magically shows up all the apps needed along with the correct wallpaper after 15 to 20 minutes or so on a good Wi-Fi connection. I kid, I kid. It's more like using dynamic group rules and manual labor that was put into this prior with all of the configuration profiles. Here are some tips to consider when you're troubleshooting. Does the device have to be white before it's added to Intune? Nope. The device will only take effect of the change after the wipe if you're only changing the MDM server on Apple Business Manager or changing the Intune enrollment profile, then it will only take effect after it's been formatted and has internet connection. What does wiping the managed iOS device mean during each stage? If you wipe the device, in this case, the managed iPad, before it's been placed on Apple Business Manager, before the vendor import that device into your Apple Business Manager, it's no different than a personal device. Same goes to wiping the device after it's been imported to ABM, but has no MDM server assigned to it because it's still not considered managed. If you wipe that device after it's been imported and that device has also been assigned to Intune MDM server on ABM, then that device will go into management mode with the enrollment profile it's defaulted to on Intune. For instance, since our default enrollment profile on Intune is for training iPads, the iPad will automatically be enrolled into the training enrollment profile if we don't change its enrollment. Now, if you don't see the company portal app on a corporate owned device, in our case, it would be an iPad that is normally supposed to have it, then the iPad is either not assigned to the correct MDM server on ABM, or the correct enrollment profile on Intune was not set. Also, if you don't see the remote management screen during the setup of the iPad and you've gone through all the steps till the end of the setup screen and you get to the welcome screen, then that means that the device hasn't been assigned Intune MDM on ABM. Now, when it comes to assigning apps, you must purchase them from ABM. Yes, you still have to purchase the apps even though they are $0, practically free. It's worth noting that the connections of ABM's app to Intune has to be configured prior for the assignments to be successful, which is different from the setup of ABM to Intune for devices. So let's take Adobe Fill and Sign as an example. I can 
assign it to a location and put the quantity I want. Since we already have enough of licenses, I'm not going to purchase any more at the moment. Then we'll go over to Microsoft Intune and we can see that we have a total of 10 licenses and six are still available. Since in our case, the app is already there, we don't need to do anything. But if you just purchase apps on ABM, then you might need to sync your VPP token, which is the connector I mentioned earlier that needs to be configured ahead of time to see the update. To do this, you would go this here and sync. The sync has kicked off. If you're on the help desk and get a call when the user is telling you that he or she doesn't see the app on the company's managed device, two simplest things you can check if you have access to Intune are one, is the device in the correct assigned group. As you can see here, our Microsoft Word has not been assigned, so no one would see it. Second question that should come to mind is, are there enough licenses? Let's take OneDrive as an example. And if we can see here, under the properties, there are a total of 111 licenses and there are 58 still available. If the 58 in our case turns into zero, then we are out of licenses and we will need to purchase more on ABM. Okay, so what I've just ran through is just the simple how ABM works with Intune and it does not involve the fine configuration details. That's a whole fun world on its own. I can do a config video for you at a later time if you're interested. Also, things do change and get updated, so please be sure to check the facts before proceeding. If I miss anything, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. That way, we can all learn from each other as I'm by no means an expert on this topic. Hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. Thank you again. Have yourself a nice day or night, wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.